How you guys doing? Coach Anthony here. Um, we're going to focus on defense today. You know, defense is 50% of boxing. People train it 25% of the time. I wonder why they get hit twice as much. Let that soak in for a second. You know what I mean? You have to think defense. The old timers used to tell me when I was coming up, you should learn a good defense before a good offense. And it's the truth. Because anybody could throw a punch. It's not about just throwing a punch when you're boxing. It's about being able to avoid punches, slip punches, counter punches, block punches. This is what makes a good boxer, all right? So I got the Golden Glove champ right here. Kingsley O'Boy oh Heat, all right? One of my fighters been with me for a long time now. He's gonna be my demonstrating partner. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna start off, you know, from the very beginning, all right? So what he's gonna do is, he's gonna throw a jab at me and I'm gonna block it. The way I'm gonna block his jab, all I'm gonna do is open my palm, face it toward my opponent. So you notice I got my right hand by my chin protecting the hook. As soon as that jab comes, bang. All right, so when he goes ahead and he throws that jab, bang, all right? One more time, bang. Okay, one more time, bang, all right? I know it looks like, hey, man, anybody can block that. So I want you to throw it like you mean. Jab, bang, again, bang, again, bang, again, bang. All right, so you don't need to use a lot of force when you're trying to catch a jab, all right? Common mistakes that I see beginners do, throw a jab, they'll reach for it. Sometimes they do block it, but then they leave their face open, you throw the left hook from this position, Bang, he ends up countering me. That's a big dangerous thing. You don't want to do that. So all you want to do is open your palm, slightly catch the shot. One more time. Bang, speed, bang, speed, bang, speed, bang. All right? That's how you block a jab. From right here now, we're going to get right into the straight right hand, okay? So to block a straight right hand, as you can see, I'm in my basic boxing stance. All I'm going to do is bring the hand up to my temple, and I'm going to let the glove do all the work. He's going to push the glove. I'm going to feel some impact but it's better than getting hit clean in the face, all right? So what he's gonna do is he's gonna throw shit right here. I'm gonna catch it, okay? As you can see, I'm in position. Do it one more time. Bang, I throw some force. Bang, again, bang, again, bang, again, bang. As you can see, I'm okay, all right? I mean, I prefer to do other things other than blocking a straight right hand that way, but in a situation where I can't slip or roll, I'm just gonna catch that straight right hand with my glove, all right? Now with the left hook, you know, in South Pauls, bear with me. Just do everything from the opposite side, okay? I'll even make a video for Orthodox versus South Pole in the future, but for right now, just bear with me and imagine that you're boxing another South Pole, okay? And do everything from the opposite side. But anyway, we're gonna get into the left hook. He's gonna throw a left hook, I'm gonna catch it. Dang. Now you notice, all I do is bring my hand from my chin and raise it up to my temple, okay? This is what you wanna protect. You wanna protect your chin and your temple at the same time. You're gonna throw that hook, bang. Again, bang, again. Bang, again, bang, push the steam, bang, again, bang, again, bang, again, bang, all right? So there you go, you just seen him throw a hook, half speed, I'm able to block the shot. So what I'm gonna have him do is put it all together, all right? He's gonna throw the jab, straight right here, bang, left hook, bang, put it together. Pop, 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 again, pop, 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 again, pop, 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 again, pop, pop, pop. Basic blocks. When you're blocking shots, you're gonna feel some impact can't freak out. You have to stay calm in those situations. You're gonna feel a lot of impact on your gloves. You just take the shot, all right? It's better than getting hit in the face. That's how you block a basic jab hook cross. Now we're gonna get into the uppercuts, all right? So the uppercuts, this is a bit tricky because there's different ways to throw uppercuts, all right? So I'm gonna try to keep this informative, all right? If he throws a right uppercut, traditionally, the way it's taught, is to block the right uppercut with the right hand, okay? If you throw the left uppercut, traditionally it's taught to block the left uppercut with the left hand. Now, the reason why it's traditionally taught this way, and I'm gonna show you, you know, even though this is a whole other video, I'm just gonna give you like a, like a little idea why. If he throws that right uppercut, I block the right hand, bang, I counter with my left hook. He throws that left uppercut, I catch it, bang, I counter with a straight right hand. But see, the problem with that is, is when you catch it that way, you leave yourself open too. So let's just say I throw a right uppercut, he throws a right uppercut, I catch it, he throws his left hook, bang. If I don't bring my left hand back in time, I get caught. So also another way you can do it is do it backwards. So he throws a right uppercut, I block it with my left hand. He throws a left uppercut, I block it with my right hand. Now there's less chance of him countering me with the same hand. If he throws that straight right hand, look, my hand is up. If I catch it the opposite way on this side, throw it with the left hand, right hand, I'm sorry, do it with the right hand, 
Boom, he throws that left hook, my hand's already there. I already tied this hand up, so now he's not gonna be able to counter me. So you could do it opposite. So it just depends on the situation, whether you're planning on countering, or if you're just planning on completely avoiding the shot. But in my opinion, better than both of those, the safest bet when you're blocking an uppercut is literally just catching with your forearms, with your hands up. So he throws the right uppercut, I catch it with my forearm right here, with my left side goes the left one. Bang, now from right here, if you notice, I got both hands up, throw the safe, throw that right uppercut again. I catch it, I can still do my counters. He do it this way, I can still do my counters. So if you notice, all I'm doing is standing here and all I'm doing is closing up and letting the shot land on my forearms. Those are some things that need to be practiced. You need to be in front of your trainer. If you don't have a trainer, come see me, I'll take care of you. But at the same time, you really have to take that series. That's something that you can't just watch the video and think you have it. You really have to practice it, work on your timing. Uppercut, if that uppercut lands, that could be a real devastating punch. You wanna make sure that you have your defense tight when it comes to that. We're gonna go ahead and move over to body shots now. So, when it comes to the body, if, he's, if you're throwing straight shots or shots around the side, it's gonna depend how you're gonna block. So, for instance, if I throw a jab to his body, he can catch it with his right elbow, okay? So I'm just gonna throw a head jab, bang. See that, I'm gonna do it again, bang. Again, bang. Common mistakes that I see people do. Throw a jab, and I'm gonna block it. I throw a jab to my body. Common mistake I see people do, they try to do this, and move the hand out the way, and then that left hook comes. All right, well he fakes the jab to my body, and bang, catches me. So you're gonna make sure you catch those straight shots with your elbow. It's much safer, okay? So I'm gonna throw a jab again, bang. Jab again, bang, jab again, bang. Okay, so you notice all he's doing is slightly leaning in and catching the shot. If I throw the straight right hand, he does the same thing with the opposite hand. Bang, again, bang, again, bang, again, bang. Okay, so basically all he's doing with that lead hand is leaning in. So when you're blocking the straight shots, you're leaning in. You're doing the same thing when it comes to leaning when you block your shots around the side, but this, instead of leaning with your elbows in, you're bringing your elbows to the side of your body. So now I'm gonna throw a right shot around the side, he catches it, left shot around the side, bang. See that? Bang, bang. Put some steam on it, bang, bang. See that, he's fine. Throw those same shots against me. Let's go, bang, bang, again. Bang, bang, again. Bang, bang. So you notice, only thing we're doing is going bang and bang. We're catching the shot, we're just leaning and we're keeping our elbows positioned where the shot's coming. If the shot's are coming up the middle, I catch it with the top of my elbow right here. Hopefully I can hurt the top of their hand. They come around the side. I just bring the elbows to the side and lean to that side. You can also do something else that I call rolling punches, okay? So we're gonna come right back up top. All right, so as you can see, we're up top now. And if I throw a straight right hand, the way I blocked it in the beginning, what I taught was just to catch the shot. But what we're gonna do now is when I throw that shot, you slightly roll your, your, your upper body as I'm throwing the shot. So I'm gonna throw a straight right hand, he rolls. Again, he rolls. Again, he rolls, okay? So all he's doing is rolling away from the punch and bringing his hand up at the same time. If a shot's coming and I run into it, bang, right? But if a shot's coming and I go away from it, I'm taking away some power. So the only thing I'm doing is the same thing, but bringing the hand up, so he's gonna go ahead and do it. Bang, again, bang. You can do the same thing on the other side. Bang, again, bang. So if I throw a two, three, pop, pop. Again, pop, pop. Again, pop, pop. The beauty of this too, it sets up other punches. If I throw that right hand, he rolls it, pop, bang, counter. If I throw that left hook, pop, bang. Push you in position to counter. That's a whole nother video, okay? Now we'll go ahead and do the same thing to the body. If I throw the straight right hand to the body, he's gonna roll with his lead hand, just like when I threw it up top and he rolled it, so do the same thing with the body. Bang, okay, again. Bang, again. Bang, if I throw a left hook to the body, bang, again. Bang, again. Bang, all he's doing is rolling his body, putting himself in a good position to counter punch. Those are your basic blocks, rolls, you know, that's, a pretty detailed explanation, I think. I think that'll help. I think you just need to work everything one step at a time. So make sure you, work, you know, watch this video, 
and you know, just start with one punch. If it takes you a couple of weeks just to get comfortable blocking that jab, those jab at me, just get you, just do this for a little while. And once you feel comfortable, then add the one, two, bang, bang, right? The one, two, bang, bang, and the one, two, three, bang, 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 good. You know what I mean? Start adding those progressively. Don't just rush into the whole video and try to do everything I just said in one take, okay? So I hope that helps. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the channel. Bye,